So five years ago, South Africa received its first plastic road in Jeffreys Bay. And the project uses recycled plastic to pave roads and promise to be more durable and eco-friendly than traditional tar ones. And the question is, could this be the answer to potentially ending the cycle of never-ending repairs and potholes? Newsroom Africa's Sipa Kemmer took a closer look and hit the road. What if I could tell you the potential end to potholes? Yes, the same ones we all dodging could lie in a plastic bag. South Africa's first plastic road was laid down in Jeffreys Bay five years ago. It uses recycled paper to create an eco-friendly surface that also lasts longer. Based on this town's experience, the plastic road could signal a new era for road construction in the country. Just as such a longer lasting effect, and it means that we have to the maintenance on the road are so much less, plus it's enduring and, and all of the rest of the of the positive spin-offs that there is from it. Yeah, from a cost point of view, the, the initial um, the initial time there oh, the initial cost of it is a little bit more expensive because of the, the product that they use, but over time it's it's a lot cheaper. Unfortunately, despite its success, the high upfront costs have put a halt to expanding this innovative initiative. And for us as a, as a local municipality, it's just too expensive to put up a plant that manufactures these uh, specific um, granules that they, that they make the road of. So the, unfortunately, because the, the company that, that uh, did the plastic road for us is a, a Scottish company, they have not set up a base here in South Africa yet. They were hoping to get a spin-off from this into the province and, and perhaps be able to roll it out provincially. Uh, the province, the provincial government hasn't uh, bought into the, into the project, uh, which is very sad because it is, as you, as you could see, it uh, is still in perfect condition. The 300-metre pilot stretch of Voldemarder Street, developed by Scottish company Macrobert, alongside local partners SPXL and Scrabanti, uses a mix of recycled plastic waste. Over 500,000 plastic bags were repurposed for this project, and road users are already noticing the improved durability compared to traditional tar roads. Yes, I, I was aware of it, y'all. This is the best road in Jeffreys Bay. Going well. No, they've done a great job. I wish they would do the other, other roads as well. <laughs> Some road users were surprised to learn about the plastic material. No, I didn't know about it. Now it's amazing. It's exciting oh. to know that. <laughs> Business owners along Voltamada Street suggest the project be rolled out nationwide as road conditions heavily impact daily operations. For the high volume of, of uh, traffic that we experience here um, and there's no deterioration, it makes absolute sense compared to the rest of the town where there's no plastic roads. We felt it that it's an improvement. Um, if you, again, if you compare it to other sites where business they have closed down and you take a look at the condition of the roads, it makes, it makes uh, financial sense, yeah. With this plastic road showing significant resilience after five years, it offers a potential solution to South Africa's ongoing pothole crisis. Unlike traditional roads that require constant patching, plastic roads could bring an end to frequent repairs, paving the way for smoother, longer-lasting roads across the country. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Sipa Kema in Jeffreys Bay.